Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol NIO. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. If you're new to charts and not sure what I mean by 30 minute, I do offer an explanation video at that link. So if you go there, I'll explain in detail. Did this analysis on Tuesday, so that is where the green and red line annotations are coming from. Uh, but after today's price movement, some updates here need to be made. Uh, this level right here, uh, which was a you know ideal level of a sport, that's been violated, and things have gotten very sloppy with it. Um, so that's a level that, generally speaking, yeah, it is holding up. But from a presentation standpoint and wanted to keep this really as clean as possible going forward, in my mind, especially after today's data and the main point of data being that low right here, we now have this very nice trend line that we can put into play that is really essentially kind of just illustrating and helping us visualize that, yeah, it's been an up and down journey for sure. I mean, up and then down and then up and then down and then sideways and all that. But within the context of all that, you can see that the price has been just drifting higher and higher. So the quote unquote drift point, if you will, is in the world of technical analysis, what we would call a trend line. And that's just showing, I mean, really you could call these drift lines if you wanted to. Just what direction is the price drifting? What direction is the price trending? And it is up right now. So that is definitely a level that to me, uh, it just kind of makes this very easy to visualize. Let's see if the price can continue to just stay up above that line, you know, as the line itself, you know, you know, uh, is trending higher and higher. So that's really, like I said, the first key level. In the event that level does not hold up as support, then while there is no such thing as a guarantee, it would not be shocking at that point to see the price potentially drift down to that dollar seventy-three mark. So again, preferably speaking, uh, you know, see the price stay above that trend line. But definitely the must hold level would be to stay above a dollar seventy-three. Why do I call that a must hold? Well, if the price were to drop below there and then just continue down, at that point, that would literally be putting the price right back to where it was at these low points right there. And not to insult your intelligence, but price movements that go back to where they were not exactly a sign of true strength. So that's why in my mind, $1.73 is very important. As far as levels of resistance, still nothing new here to report as far as, you know, from previous videos, still all about that $1.90 mark up there, which is represented by the red line. So the price is still drifting upwards. Um, so it's just a matter of seeing if this drift can continue and if it's gonna get at some sort of breakout or not. If you found this video helpful, then I'm very confident in saying you'd find great value in this live web class that I'm offering. It's totally free. So if you're interested in learning more or getting signed up, you can go to claytreader.com forward slash live or just see the link in the description area. It is totally live, like I said, so there's a question and answer session. It's all very interactive. So go to that link, get signed up, and I'll see you there.